The tail of the fish is a generic term used to refer to the caudal peduncle, or the portion of the body where the dorsal and anal fins end, as well as the tail fin, or caudal fin. This goliath grouper has a rounded tail. So does this gulf flounder, and this ornate butterfly fish. Rounded unevenly, we find this tail on species like the bowfin, as well as on the long-nosed gar. This flag rockfish and unicorn fish have flat, truncate, square, or straight caudal fins. Emarginate, indented, or concave. Notice the indentation on the teardrop butterfly fish, and a deeper indentation on this mullet. Species of the genus Esox have indented caudal fins, as we see in the northern pike. Largemouth bass also have concave tail fins. Double emarginate or biconcave. Barracuda are great examples of biconcave tail fins. This Pacific chum has a lightly forked tail fin, and this tarpon has a moderately forked tail fin and we could consider this mahi-mahi, or dolphin fish, to have a deeply forked tail fin. This flying fish has an unevenly forked tail fin, as is also seen in many sharks. A lunate tail fin can be found on a swordfish. Pointed tail fins are seen on species like trumpet fish and many gobies, this broad-nosed eel has a pointed and undifferentiated tail. So does this sea lamprey. A naked and pointed tail, or one without rays on the end, is seen on this species of chimera and on a cornet fish. The naked tail of the seahorse is considered prehensile and used for holding onto reefs and plants. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Keep loving the beautiful chaos of nature. Mmm, rico.